as I'm praying for people not to catch this, I'm also begging and appealing to people, um, especially those that can influence, because I am an influencer um, in the society. I have a lot of young people in Oku State who look up to me, and I'm, I'm very glad that a lot of them have reached me to say, after they saw my video, they now believe that COVID-19 is real, and since then they've started practicing social distancing and respecting all the advice from the Oku State government. People should just trust the healthcare workers and go out and get tested. The joke will be on the person that is stigmatizing. Because the truth of the matter is, once you've gone through it, you've been treated, and you're negative, you are the one who should be careful of people who have not had it, who may be asymptomatic and may not know. And so, the care is for you not to be reinfected and not for you to infect people. So, what would be the essence of stigmatizing anybody if, the, if really and truly, those of us who have gone through it, who have defeated it, are the ones who should be careful of those who don't have it yet. I think the education must go out to let people understand that stigmatizing people like me, who, who, who's had it, uh, will be ludicrous because uh, science has shown that it is those of us who have beaten this virus that must be careful of those who have not had it and some who may be asymptomatic, who may reinfect people. So we are the ones who are being careful now. And that was why I said to you when I saw you left, that, hey, my friend, social distancing, don't come near me, because I don't know if you have it. May God not let you have it. But I'm more careful now. But um, on sober reflection, all through my stay there, seeing the wonderful work the health workers did, I started thinking of how I can also influence my rich friends, uh, influence my rich friends, and um, a whole lot of other people that I know, um, to come together and create a support system for government health workers.